Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on performing the sign test using Microsoft Excel. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this worksheet fictitious data I'll be using for this example. In column A, I have a score variable and it contains 40 scores. And let's assume that these scores were collected from a depression inventory that was given to participants and we know the mean for this inventory is 50 and the median is 50. So in this situation we just have the sample and a mean or a median to compare it to. So normally we would conduct a one sample t-test. However, let's say that our data violate the normal distribution assumption for a one sample t-test. So let's assume these data are not normally distributed. So we can't use the one sample t-test. However, we can use a non-parametric alternative, the sign test. So instead of the mean of 50, we'll be using the median value of 50. And we'll test the null hypothesis that the difference between the medians is zero. So that's the null hypothesis that the sign test is testing. Now it's worth noting here that the sign test, as I mentioned, is a non-parametric alternative to the one sample t-test. It's also a non-parametric alternative to a paired samples t-test. In this example, of course, I'm using it as a non-parametric alternative to the one sample t-test. So first I'm going to calculate the sign for the score variable compared to the median. So I'm going to enter the median over here, 50. And over in B2, this will be equal sign, the sign function in Excel. And the number will be the score minus the median. And for this median, since I'm going to be autofilling this all the way down, I'm going to hit F4 and make that an absolute reference. So 42 minus 50 is negative 8. So the sign is negative, so this returns a negative 1. So if I autofill this down, we'll get a series of negative 1s, zeros, and 1s. Next, I want the number of positive signs and the number of negative signs from this sign column, the sign variable. So for number of positive signs, this will be equal sign, count if, the range is going to be the sign variable, so B2 all the way down through B41. And I'm going to use this again for the number of negative signs, so I'm going to make this an absolute reference by hitting F4. The criteria will be quotation mark equal sign. And for this value, because I'm looking for the number of positive signs, I'm going to use a 1. Quotation mark and enter. So there's five positive signs in this sign variable. I'm just going to autofill this down to the number of negative signs and change the 1 to a negative 1. So we have 15 negative signs in this sign column and 5 positive signs. Next I want the count and this is equal to the number of positive signs plus the number of negative signs. So equal sign E4 plus E5, so 20. So in this sample, 20 of these signs are either negative or positive. Next, I want the smaller value between the positive sign count and the negative sign count. And we can see the smaller of these two is 5. However, there's a function that can calculate this automatically, min, min, and then the range, which is just these two cells. That returns the 5. And then we can calculate the probability value here. And this will be equal sign binomial distribution, B-I-N om dot dist then we have number s 
So I'm going to use the smaller value here for this, E9. Trials, this will be count. Probability S, this will be 0.5 in this case. And for cumulative, we want true. And because we're looking for a two-tailed probability value, I'm going to multiply this by two. That gives us a probability value here of 0.041. So if we have an alpha, in this case, of 0.05, or 5%, we would reject the null hypothesis here because the probability value is 0 0.041. It's less than 0 0.05. So we would reject the null hypothesis that the difference between the medians is zero. I hope you found this video on calculating the sign test in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.